Major of Ukrainian Army Dmitry Kozubenko said that the Russians are bringing up reserves in all directions of the Eastern Front, but the situation remains difficult in the Chasovya area and the Bakhmut defense area. The enemy is constantly bringing up reserves in all directions. Now the Russians are massively storming all positions of the defense forces along the entire line of combat contact, including Chasovya. The enemy is trying to enter the city itself. In the Kanal micro district, the enemy was successful only because he wiped it off the face of the earth. Now the Russians have not made any significant advances, but they are still continuing their attempts, the soldier said on the air of Espresso TV. According to the officer, the enemy has a significant advantage in manpower. The Russians have a large amount of assault meat and air support and this helps them. For more than six months, the occupiers have been actively using fabs and cabs which wipe out everything in their path after which the infantry comes. But fortunately, their efforts do not bring results because for a successful war, you need to know what you are fighting for. And the Russians are fighting only for money and the ambitions of their king. Gozubenko added, advancing west from Avdiivka, Russian occupiers threaten the T0504 highway, which is called the road of life. This is currently the main supply route for the Ukrainian Armed Forces Group in the Chasovya area, build rights. At the same time, the Russians are expanding their foothold in the Otoretino area, capturing nearby settlements in order to reach the operational level. According to the publication's expert on open data analysis, Julian Robka, these two maneuvers are connected to each other. At the same time, the Russians are expanding their foothold in the Ocheretino area, capturing nearby settlements in order to reach the operational level. According to the publication's expert on open data analysis, Julian Robka, these two maneuvers are connected to each other. He noted that the occupiers have about six kilometers left to reach the T0504 highway through the village of Vozdvizenka. But the Ukrainian armed forces have already built a strong defense there and are successfully holding back Russian troops in this small area. The British government's policy on whether Ukraine can use the weapons it has provided to hit targets in Russia has become so confusing that even President Volodymyr Zelensky is embarrassed by a meeting with Prime Minister Keir Starmer this month. The Prime Minister proposed easing restrictions on the use of Britain's long-range storm shadow weapons immediately after taking office, the Times reports, in an apparent change of policy. Zelensky wrote in delight on X that he had received permission to use storm shadow missiles against military targets on Russian territory. Today, we had the opportunity to discuss the practical implementation of this decision. Zelensky wrote, sharing a photo of himself with Starmer at the NATO summit in Washington. A Ukrainian military source praised Starmer's stance, suggesting he had gone further than the previous conservative government. This is a clearer and very strong message to partner countries, the source said at the time. However, the British government later said it had not in fact given Ukraine permission to use weapons in Russia, a position unchanged from the previous government. Defense sources said Britain had to persuade France which produces the storm shadow along with Britain and another key NATO ally before it could allow Ukraine to fire missiles at Russia. They stressed that Britain was not in a position to act on its own in a matter that could fuel tensions with Moscow. It was unclear whether there was a legal basis for seeking permission from France and others. At the same time, the source said the UK's request had been made to allies and ministers were waiting for approval before talking to Ukraine. One former senior defense official suggested that another country involved in the weapons deployment would also need to give its approval, although the details remained unclear. Ben Barry, a senior fellow on land warfare at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, suggested allies were concerned that if the Storm Shadow missiles missed and mistakenly hit civilians, it could give Russia an excuse to escalate. The United States has granted Kyiv only limited permission to use certain weapons to strike Russian targets to defend the Kharkiv region near the border. Ukraine wants to be able to use missiles, like the Storm Shadow, to target airfields where Russian bombers are deployed to drop glide bombs, relatively cheap, upgraded bombs with new guidance systems. The Russians are capable of launching bombs tens of miles behind front lines. Professor Justin Bronk, an air power and military technology expert, at the Royal United Services Institute, 
said that with cruise missiles and timely intelligence, Ukraine could target airfields in Russia and force Moscow to move its aircraft further away from the front line. This could reduce the number of sorties the Russians have to fly as their aircraft would have to fly further to hit their targets.